Hey guys and welcome back to Generation Zero. This is a game we played on the channel about a year ago and it also has a DLC called Phoenix Rising. I have a version which has everything, all the DLCs, everything in it, and I wanted to play the story through before March 2021 because apparently there's an update coming in March 2021, a substantial update, which um, we're gonna enjoy then hopefully if we finish this part through first. So for this reason, I'm gonna start this playthrough. I hope you're gonna have a good time with it. So let's get started. We're gonna start a new game. I had an existing character, but it was only level three, um, which I deleted. So in that sense, I'm pretty new to the game and there's gonna be a lot of things I don't know. So feel free to let me know anything you know about the game in the comments below that I should be paying attention to. I also know that a lot of the side quests are designed to be played as you play the game and not just the main quest because they will give you things like weapons or ammunition or anything useful that will help you to survive better going forward in the game. So let's create our character. Last time I played the popular character, we're gonna go with the military one. We're gonna take it serial. After World War II, Sweden enjoyed an economic boom from having come unscathed out of the war, but neutrality had come at the cost of integrity as the poor readiness had forced the country to make deals with Hitler. Intent on not ending up in the same situation again, Sweden's newfound riches were invested in the so-called total defense, the ability to protect the border while also shielding and maintaining civilian life. Over the coming years, Sweden massively increased military spending whilst organizing the civilian preparedness for what increasingly seemed like an inevitable invasion from the east. Every man, woman and child was drilled to be ready for war, knowing exactly what to do and where to go when the sirens sounded. And most importantly to offer resistance at all times in all situations. You and some classmates have spent a few days out in the archi archipelago cut off from the world as you return your boat is suddenly hit by the explosive projectiles fired from ashore. You don't know what fired at you or why but you managed to make it ashore injured but alive. And here we go. Break dawn. Your mission. This place is not safe. Maybe you can find some help in the nearby house. Read more. So you have your log here. I remember that now. Okay, so you have your inventory. That changed a little bit, I think, since we played last, which is nice. Okay, so we have your inventory here. We have a map here, and this map is Humongosaurus. Okay, I actually don't know if we play anywhere here, but this is already big enough. I think last time we played, we played until we got to the bunker, which I think is somewhere around here, and I think that was it. We stopped it then and inventory skills uh, oh yeah i remember that now i actually don't know what the preferred skill is so I'm, I'm trying not to spend any points today on things so if you want you can let me know in the comments below what you think is a good path to go now we want to obviously be as strong as possible and be able to kill those guys as quickly as possible and survive as long as we can yeah i just had to mess around with some of the settings um we made the field a few but 70 i think that's okay everything above that lo started looking a bit fishbowly but that should be enough i like to see as much as possible we don't have a weapon yet okay search the house for anything to use well let's go into here as well and open that up and have a look i remember the first time we played this we found so many tapes i don't know if that was only for the early access uh, version or not or if they're still around but we'll see oh, what do we have down here wow okay there's a car or something in the water there's one weapon in this area and three collectibles so, well if we can't find the weapon that would be a good start oh yeah look at this the door kicked in what happened here Ooh, dead robot and there's the weapon excellent search the house for anything in use Anything of use, pick up the flash torch. Okay, so there must be a flash torch around here somewhere. This place much better. I believe it definitely, if, to me, it feels definitely more optimized than when it came, uh, when it wasn't early access, which wouldn't make sense. Banks had written notes. Now, we're not going to read all these notes or anything, but we do focus on side missions. So, because I was doing a little bit of research before I started playing that and uh, playing this again, and side missions. Oh, look at the handprint. Side missions definitely were recommended. Ooh, look at that. We have emergency flares and 9mm ammunition. Nice. Transfer all of it. Absolutely. Okay, take all. And then what do we have in here? Adrenaline shots. I think there when you die that you can kind of revive yourself on the spot. Is there anything here? Oh, look at that. What do we have here? Adrenaline shot. Let's see what else in the house. Oh, more bags. Stuff. Nice. Another flare. That's going to be very handy, like, to throw. Oh, yes, baby. Look at that. Use the swing a weapon. So how do we switch between different weapons? Okay, three. Oh, four. Okay, three is the weapon here. And then we probably have to assign the melee weapon. Yeah, it's going to be the first episode. It's going to be a little bit on and off with me trying to figure things out. But 
Oh, assigned to slot. Okay. Oh, it automatically has to go into three. So the gun and the bat can only go into slot three. Interesting. In that case, I won't be using a bat. Okay, there's something else here. Oh, flash torch. Beautiful. Is it F? Yeah. Nice. Now I can see a little bit better. Okay, what do we have here? Break down of the war camps, civil defense pamphlet. This is collectible, I would guess. Is there anything on the walls? Bob Rose, no thank you. Anything behind? All right, let's make sure we search everything thoroughly in this house. I mean, we found the weapon and everything, so we should be okay. There we go, we have another adrenaline shot. And then we have one more room over here. There we go, nice. I wonder where the body is. I mean, there clearly was a, a robot there. It was all oil spilled. Uh, pick up the binoculars. Oh, nice. All right. Collectible picked up. Okay, there's a police car there. Let's see what else is there. We have a building over there. Okay. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Backpack Arena and a car. We definitely should check that out. Okay, can we open this? Nice. Now, yes, first aid kits. Very, very good. I love it. Nothing else in here. But I definitely want to see how we're going to get up there. Okay. Alright, we can probably jump on a chair, then on the bin. On the sign. Oh, yeah, look at this. Beautiful. Like a boss. Let's take that. Crouch. Just make sure we can't be seen. Oh, we take it. Yeah. Okay. Sure. A punk skirt. I always wanted that. I'm, I'm military. That's that's literally a dream of mine. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that an attachment? Oh, we're going to have to check that out. Let's check out the attachments. Okay, which gun is better? This one is higher damage. This one is higher handling. And this one is higher damage. So maybe we should use this instead. Oh, attachments. There we go. Silencer. Nice. This is good. Oh, we have no ammunition for this gun. We probably have ammunition for the first uh, for the first gun, do we? No, we have no ammunition for either. So in this case, it's fine. Okay, let's go back down. There we go. And let's check out what's in the car here. Oh, we can open the boot. Great. Yeah, so this is going to get all a little bit faster paced, obviously. Um, as we go along, it's just me getting back into the game. So apologies if it's a bit of a slow start for all your pros out there. Oh, let's go and check out these cars as well. We want to loot as much as possible, I would say. And we see um, how we find the game. If you find it too easy or anything, we're just going to increase the difficulty that can be changed in-game. All right, look at that. We've got a car battery. Is there anything in here? No. No backpacks in any of the cars. I like that you can open that, the front of the cars. That is amazing. I don't think that was a thing before when I played it in Early Access. Oh, yes. Lovely. Oh, got a hat. Okay, that's not as important. We got a gas tank. I remember being able to blow them up directly or making something to blow things up, which is always good. Brilliant. Okay, yeah. Transfer it all. Let's take it all. Excellent. Can we go into the water? Because there was something blinking in the water as well. Can we go into the water? Yeah, there's a car in the water. I wonder if we can get there. <gasps> Ooh! Can, can, oh, no! Oh, we can't! Oh, okay, so we cannot get into the water. But wherever we spawned, respawned, there is some loot. Excellent stuff. I didn't lose anything, which is great. So, oh. There's more here. Very nice. Okay, before we go to the police car, let's just check this here first. There's another backpack in here. Nice. Okay, another flare. The flares are having five, I think. Excellent. Okay. And then four is the mat pack. And three is the gun. I moved the silencer on this gun. Because that's the only one we have ammunition for. Let's open the door here. Is there anything in the car? I love the looting in this. It's so nice. 
it feels nice it always did feel nice like the gunplay and the looting did feel really really nice um already in this game oh look, what is that nice oh yes shotgun ammo explosive tank do we have a weight limit on anything we can carry i don't think so oh there weight 12.9 out of 64 so there is a weight limit okay what we can do here oh we got more ammunition and some steel very nice gas tanks i like that everything is like weighing not too much in the beginning nice we got some more ammunition okay locate and destroy an enemy Ooh. okay if there's an enemy up there why don't we check out this area here first and then we're going to scout across to go to the enemy Nice. Backpack. Let's see what's in the shed. If we can open it. Okay, we can't open this. Can't open this. Oh. What do we see here? Is there anything moving up there? Yeah, there definitely was something. Oh, look at this. There's a big guy right there. Wow. Okay, so we have to be careful. Just want to make sure we don't miss anything. I would hate to miss out on a big gun or something or an assault rifle or something amazing. Okay. Let's run back. Ooh, ooh. No, no, no. We shouldn't have run. Oh, wow. Okay, it's coming from a long range. Yeah, we're going to skedaddle here on that one. All right, he's not giving up. Nice, got him. Nice. Okay, we got one. There's another one behind us. Where is he coming from? very fast excellent oh wow there's another one all these noises are attracting okay we need to heal up there we go nice let's quickly loot this guy as well holy balls that's not gonna attract like a lot of them okay maybe we shouldn't have snooped around over there okay look at that we won the combat nice okay so let's heal up quickly <sighs> how much does it heal up for but 25 is it something like that let's use another one 53 it is 25 let's loot this guy there we go adhesive and more ammunition very nice love it Okay, follow the road, look for a safe place. Excellent. So skirmish difficulty seems to be just about right for me in the moment. Very lovely. I'm gonna stay crouched. Oh, little Timmy Spike. No! What happened to little Timmy? I don't think they never answered. Oh no, it's his Walkman. Little Timmy has no walkman and he's on foot oh no what happened here oh yes i love that we can open the cars even though they're turned over that's brilliant can we still open the hood yes nice oh, i love it got more steel is there anything else no i don't think so can't loot this guy oh there's something in there what do we have here a letter. Letter with the hunter's address. Yes, it's a side mission. Track. Now, where would we find that? There we go. Ooh, what do we have here? 
yeah, we have to go there anyway. So we might as well take them out. The more resources we get, the better. Unless there's like... Th Ooh, this. Oh, there's only one. So we might be able to actually sneak up on him and get the drop on him. Oh, there's a big guy. Yeah. Let's try it out. Why not? I mean, we have... Distractions. So we have these guys. Do we need another distraction? A little bit closer to here, maybe? Whoa! Wow, this guy is tough! Yeah, nice! Whoa! Whatever the hell that was! What the hell was that? Okay, we can't loot it. Okay, let's see if we can run away a little bit. Get some healing into us. And then maybe get a... Another one of those out. There we go. Nice. Okay, that was number two. Okay, that sounded big, whatever that is. Okay, let's take out this guy first. Okay, we need healing. Oh, there's another one. Run, run, run. Yes, excellent. Okay, beautiful. Okay, we need more heals. Wow, excellent. Beautiful. Okay, so we have to loot one more. I don't know where he is, actually. We looted this guy, but there was another one we shot here somewhere. Let's see if we can get his loot. There we go. All right, another police car. That might have been worth it. Oh, yes, ammunition, baby. That's what it's all about. And how much heals do we have left? We only have five heals left. And we have no more... ...of the distractions left. Ooh, okay. Oh, nice. What is that? More backpacks. Ooh, fireworks. Nice. What are they for? This fireworks overloads the machine's threat identification circuit. Let's put that in five. Nothing in here. Let's see what we have in the front. Beautiful. Another battery. Oh, that was worth it. That is awesome. Got a lot of loot. Another adrenaline shot. Very good. Alright, let's continue. We're gonna go to the Hunter's Lodge, so let's stay on the road. Let's actually see what's going on. Let's stay crouched. Search for any usable supplies in around the Hunter's house. Okay, what do we have here? I remember being able to mark them or something so we could see them. Oh, there's a big guy over there, and there's a guy over there. Maybe we can throw the fireworks at them? I'm not sure. We have to try that. That was good. Oh, no! I was so proud of myself. Okay, let's go into here quick. Okay, he's here. So if he comes around here, we got him. Oh, no. He's coming around the other side. Whoa! Okay. There's another one. Where 
I see. Excellent. I think that's it. Is that it? I think so, yes. Got more ammunition. Oh, nice. What is this? Oh, simple first aid kit. Love it. Let's have a look through the shelves. Okay, let's go into the house. Oh, no, actually, let's check the outside here first. What do we have here? A thread. Then we have a shed here. Ooh, what is this? More ammunition. Okay, let's get into the building. So if the guys can't come into the buildings... Oh, yes! Ooh, nice! There we go. Look at that beauty. Okay, that is the number one. But we have no ammunition for it. Ooh, okay, we need ammunition. Oh, I had the light on the whole time as well. I think the light on also kind of gives away your position. Okay, we get the radios. Very good. Oh, what is this? Nice! A pump-action shotgun, baby. Now we're talking. And that is number two. Yes. Beautiful. Okay, now we're kitted out. This was great. To, get, to come here was the best thing ever. And we've got an attachment. Very nice. Follow the, ro to, uh, the road to look for a safe place. Yeah, that's going to be something we have to do. Okay, let's pick up the radio. I think the radios are also distractions. You put them down, they play music, and it distracts everybody. I'm not sure if we, if we can play them because of copyright and all that shenanigans, but we'll see. There's more thread that's used for crafting, I'm assuming. Borta ba men hammer bast or best. What does that mean? There is no place like home. I was just about to say that probably means like home sweet home or something. Okay, I like that they're translated. Very, very cool. We have no ammunition for that, but I think we can have an attachment for it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, so we're going to have to look for a safe place. Let's see. Um, is that something we're going to have to activate? Main mission sanctuary. Okay, follow the road to look for safe place. Let's activate that. Let's track it. Brilliant. So where's that? It's here. Yeah, this is going to be our first safe place. I think if we get there, this is going to be the first episode. We're going to be okay. We did a lot, actually, in the first episode already. And, oh, what is up there? I wonder if it's worth exploring all these little areas or... There's a tourist attraction, so I'm not sure the tourist attraction is something that's going to benefit us in the game. I'm sure it's just going to be for collection or something, but I could be wrong. So let me know in the comments below if it's worth it to go to these places as well. Okay, I think we're getting near the farm now. Or church, sorry, the church is the next point. I'm going through the forest, I hope that's okay. Remember that combat is not always the best approach. Sometimes being stealthy pays off and saves bullets, yeah. Definitely, but um, it would be nice to just kill everything for experience, I assume. But it would be lovely to have the actual better guns. Okay, let's see if we can manage to sneak in. I'm not very good at the stealthy stuff. I usually get detected very quickly. Okay, there's definitely something there. So let's see if we can sneak underneath here, maybe. Okay, can we go all the way to the ground? No. Okay, so we can't prone can we get maybe on the rock and then jump over it oh there's actually somebody would, that will detect us but if i go back down to crouched i should be okay yeah excellent so far so good let's have a look in the shed oh wow look at that yes more healing i thought there was a workbench there for a second i got really excited guys over there as long as they don't see me we should be okay let's stay low there's nothing on this side oh wow is this a workbench oh it's a oh a vehicle station spawn a vehicle nice are you kidding me we actually can go on a bicycle oh man yeah we're not going to do this right now because we want to go into the church but that is amazing. 
So we can spawn a bicycle and then we're faster, basically. That That's so cool. Okay, so let's see if there's anything here. We could go into the church undetected, but I would like to actually check out the vehicle here if I can. Is there anything in here? All right, okay, more ammunition. Is there any ammunition yet for the main gun? No. And more shotgun ammunition? No. What ammunition actually goes into here? It doesn't say. It's probably 7.62. I don't know. I only know seven days to die. So 7.62 millimeters maybe. I don't know. Okay, there's nothing here. Great. We got some steel. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, nice. There we go. Look at that. We got more pump action shotgun. We can fully load that one up now. Beautiful. And more. Oh, yes. Beautiful. And a simple first aid kit. Okay, I think we're safe. So let's get into the church before we get detected. Let's close the door. Come on. Nice. Whew. All right. Let's have a look. The, oh, that was the whiteboard. Yes, the whiteboard. I think that was telling us that they've gone to farm. Yes, I remember that much. So they would go to a farm and then from there they tell us basically to go to the bunker or something like that. But there's also a lot of loot here. So we definitely want to pick up all the loot. The farm, a note left behind in Abraham Church indicates that there might be people nearby at the farm. Yeah, we track that. There we go. Excellent. Okay. We definitely want to take those guys out for um, experience, that's for sure. But first, we're going to loot up. And then I'm going to have to check out how the saving works. Oh, nice. What is that? Oh, wow. A storage station? Ooh, an assault rifle. Are you kidding me? Is that stuff we already have access to? How do I have access to all of this? Extend magazine next. Oh, this is amazing. Do I literally have access to all of this already? I don't understand why. Is that one of the DLCs? Like there was a DLC called weapons or something? So let's check out if we can actually, if we can access these weapons. I mean, can I take it? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, N16 extended magazine. Okay, so let's close this. Do we have even ammunition for it? I don't think we have ammunition for it, but that would be really amazing to have that as a gun. What does this mean? I'm not sure. Attachments. Um, get the magazine. Okay. And then if we assign it, we'll replace the other one. Okay, so do we have any ammunition for it? No, we have no ammunition for it. Okay, so in this case, um, let's just leave it and... Yeah, we will keep it on us, but I'm not sure why I already have access to it. But let's keep the hunting rifle assigned to us because I find this much better right now. And then maybe instead of the shotgun, once we have the ammunition, we use the assault rifle. But either way, let's take out these guys. There we go. Oh, combat perfectionist. Nice. Beautiful. This guy blew up very fast. So if you shoot them into certain parts, they blow up very fast. Where's the other guy? Oh, okay. I thought there was another guy here. Very good. Let's loot these. Oh, we got a skill point as well. Very nice. Now, is that a skill, skill point we can spend freely on anything? Or is that a skill point we only can spend in combat or something? Is it like basically level up in what you do rather than... Okay, let's close the door. Excellent. Let's take the radio rather than just level up where, where you want. Um, so let's have a look. Oh, we have to loot this as well. Okay, more flares. Nice. Radios. Beautiful. 
Okay, so let's go and check out that skill point. So we got one skill point in any... So we can potentially sp spend it on anything? So it's just a generic skill point. Okay. I know there was something else in here. There was, I think there was another gun somewhere up here. Oh, nice. Oh, lovely. Um, <laughs> look at that. We can actually put a Turk Ice jacket on. Um, okay. Again, maybe... I don't know what this icon means. Maybe this icon means it's from the DLC. I have no idea. Oh, crafting uh, is done. General station was typically found in a safe house. The process requires crafting schematics, crafting resources. And, okay. Awesome. Look at that. Adhesive, steel 4, titanium 1. Required resources 1. Store all resources. Can we craft ammunition? <gasps> oh, we can. If I would understand what ammunition this guy needs, that would be great. Okay, so let's go up. I think there was a, definitely a gun somewhere up here. Yeah, I'm not sure how the crafting and all that works yet. I'm a little bit confused why I have access to all these weapons. Um, okay, we got old button and we got some shotgun ammunition and we got a ladder. Note found next to old button. Okay, what is that? Is that a side mission? I knew you remember you always snuck up here as a kid, even when Johnny tried to close it off again. Careful, straight. So is that a side mission? Let me see. Main mission, side, old button. No, that was actually a side mission as we think that we completed as we picked it up. So let's have a look. Old button. That means if they are identical, we can actually recycle one of them and see what we get from it. Yeah, let's check that out. Okay, what do we get? Oh, nice. Okay. I see one of the options was to store all the resources. So I wonder if we store all the resources here, is that shared between all the stations? So if I say, hey, store all resources here, I go to another station, I have access to all the resources for crafting. Or do I have to keep it all on me? Because obviously having 49 iron on me adds two kilos on weight. Okay, I'm gonna have to check that out first, so I don't want to leave them all here, just in case I have to come back to this exact specific workstation, and then I don't remember where I have what. So we'll see, we'll see. We're gonna manage. And that is the apparel crafting station, which I don't need to worry about too much. I'm okay with not... Oh, hang on a second. I get actually stats with that? Okay, if I get stats, then I might be crafting some clothes. Fire resistance. Oh my god. I mean, for fire resistance, you kind of think, okay, let's do it, you know? But <laughs> no, I'm not. I, w I won't be doing that. I hope it didn't change now. Did I change now? No, good. All right, excellent. Guys, listen, thank you so much for putting up with me, looking at everything. Um, again, this will only go faster. This will only get faster um, as we go on. Oh my God, let me turn this off. Okay, that was pretty epic though. It sounded like the Terminator music, to be honest, like absolutely 80s, 90s vibe, like so loving it all. So yeah, we're gonna leave this here again. Thanks for putting up with me uh, for checking everything out a little bit more slower in the first episode, but we are going to speed things up. There we go, we got some more denim pants, tidy pinkies, purplies. And um, we're going to go from there. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming.